Hey everybody, this is Brett, and today I am super excited to go over this brand new 2024 Jeep Wrangler Sahara. So this is not only the new 2024, it's the mid-model uh, refresh that they have done. And this is also the new color for 2024, it is PDS. And I'm uh, really excited to go over this. A lot of people have been talking about this. This one has some of the new features that everybody's been talking about, and I just wanted to go over this one in particular. I'm also gonna be doing a comparison video side by side, the 2023 and 2024 Wrangler. If you wanna check out that video, that's gonna be in the description below once that video is all done. Um, don't have it done yet, but I'm gonna be doing one. So. Uh, definitely check out the description for that. Starting off, they have redone the grill on these Wranglers. You can see it's a little bit more rectangular. Still have the seven slots, of course, and um, it's got a really good look to it. And that's really the main thing that they did on the front end of these vehicles is they just made that grill a little bit, I think, wider and uh, narrower. So. We'll see once they're side by side with the uh, 2023, then we can really compare them uh, accurately. But anyways, uh, you can see this one has the LED light group. This is a Sahara. Uh, you get the LED fog lamps, LED headlamps, LED running lights, and the LED running lights in the fenders. This one also has the color match fenders. Uh, standard on the Sahara is the color match fenders. You'll see that they have new wheels for 2024 on the Saharas, and you also have a new, newly designed center cap, so that's pretty cool. They still come with Bridgestone Dueler 255 70 R18s, and uh, one thing to really note, one of the biggest changes is if you look here, there's no more antenna. They have now put the antenna in the windshield. That's what this kind of gold yellow line is. That's part of the antenna. And uh, so no more antennas on the side. So if you're going through non-touchless car washes, you're not gonna get your antenna slapping against your paint and your windshield. So really cool. They still have the T50 on the door hinges uh, and the videos that we did for taking those doors off are still applicable as well as the hard top videos. Um, let's take a look at the original window sticker so you can get all the options and pricing on this one. You can see it is a 2024 Wrangler four-door Sahara. Anvil is the color black interior. Um, I think it looks more gray, but anyways, two liter turbo. This one has the two liter turbo with the eight speed auto, 270 horsepower. Everything on your left is your standard equipment. And the one thing that you'll notice right away is this Uconnect 5 12.3 inch radio. That is new for 2024. And uh, we're gonna check that out in just a minute. So definitely stay tuned. There's only about uh, three minutes away here. So as you can see, everything is standard on the exterior here, including the LED headlights, tail lamps, and fog lights. Optional equipment starts right here with the Anvil clear coat, which is 595, uh, which I believe is an $100 increase from all the colors from last year. Uh, which used to be 495 technology group is 2295 gives you the alpine premium sound hd radio gps nav connected trail and traffic services that's one of the biggest things on the new wranglers that everybody's talking about is the travel and traffic services um and they're talking about trails and stuff that you could uh look at on those radios so um, big thing there, you connect five with the 12.3 inch radio, integrated voice command and integrated off-road camera is uh, part of that technology group too. Safety group gives you blind spot, automatic high beam and park sense, which is 1295 and the body colored hard top is 1695. I don't think there's a change in price on that. The 18 inch wheels are 1095 bucks. Total MSRP is 56,595. To get your summit price, with all the rebates and incentives on this particular Wrangler in the upper right hand part of the screen is a link to our website to this vehicle uh, so you can check out all the pricing there also linked in the description below three year 36 bumper to bumper and five year 60 powertrain uh, so 20 miles per gallon is the average mpt mpg uh, city and highway are both 20 so that's an easy one to figure out and this one's not rated for safety ratings yet so coming around to the back um, 
And we'll get to the interior in just a second because that's really the biggest thing. Everything's the same. The hard top's the same. The rear bumper's the same. Uh, backup camera's all the same. Uh, LED tail lamps are all the same. Back here has not changed at all. They ha still have the Alpine subwoofer on the side there. This is your bag for your front hard top pieces. You still get the storage area back here and all the holders for the roof, door, and windshield bolts. Uh, speaking of the bolts on the hard top, you get three on the left side, one on the top, and same thing on the right side. So eight bolts, you take all those out. There's two quick disconnects. They haven't changed that at all. Um, so, or have they? They might have changed it just a little bit. Looks a little different uh, as far as here. I don't know if there's a place in here that you can put all those cords now. They used to have some plugins where you could put them. Uh, that has changed. So anyways, uh, maybe the old Wrangler hardtop video is not applicable, applicable anymore. Um, we'll have to check that out. Seven slotted, seven slots on the back gate here. You also get a JL badge right there. And everything still works the same back here. Door shuts nice and easily. Get the black fuel door. Um, yeah, I really haven't seen anything else on the outside that's new. Everything looks to be the same up top as far as how that hard top is put together. Has the heated power mirrors, blind spot monitoring, enter and go system. Now the new thing on the interior is that some of these are gonna be coming with power seats. This one has not come with, does not come with power seats. This is still the old style of seat, um, but you can see it's actually a dark charcoal and it's got like kind of yellow stitching in it. You get the black Sahara stitching on the backrest, uh, but these seats do appear to be a new material for this year. Auto headlamps, um, power locks, power mirrors. The other thing, we'll hop inside real quick here. The other thing I noticed right away is the dash is kind of a cloth, or it is a cloth uh, finish to it. Uh, they did have leather on the Saharas, and I, now I noticed that they have this one as cloth. You also get this gold trim along with the gold stitching. You get the gold stitching on the leather wrap steering wheel. They haven't changed anything on the steering wheel. This one does have the adaptive cruise and normal cruise, Bluetooth and information center controls, audio controls on the back. It has the seven inch LCD display. That hasn't changed. Um, not sure if that little part of the screen was ever there. It might have been. Once again, once we get the actual side by side going, uh, we'll be able to look at that better. So you get the digital speedometer there. Everything is exactly the same. And yeah, so the biggest thing on the Wrangler is the 12.3 inch touchscreen radio. And you can see it is very wide. Uh, they had to kind of redo the dash a little bit. I think the vents are a little bit smaller um, because of the wider radio. Normally the 8.4, I believe, came all the way down. And uh, I don't think these vents were here. Anyways, um, so this is the factory navigation. This is run on Uconnect 5, which is run off of Android. Um, so really a cool radio. Everything's just like the 12-inch uh, radio that Jeep offers, um, except it's wider. So it's just a little bit different layout. Everything is your climate controls are here, your heated seats, heated steering wheel, um, you know, your vehicle controls. So you can check out the forward facing camera here and it's not, it doesn't go all the way across. They give you this Jeep logo to kind of, um, make it look like it's not goofy. So you do get the front facing camera. Those grid lines are dynamic, meaning that they change as you turn that steering wheel, kind of show you where you're going to be going. And then the backup camera, they still made all these HD. So they're nice and crystal clear. Um, I think the top of the dash is a little bit different. You get two kind of storage areas right there, center piece there as well. And uh, as far as apps go, uh, this one has the media, you have your comfort, your nav, you have your phone, vehicle, uh, off-road pages, 
Um, I'm wondering if we go into the off-road pages, if it's all the same stuff. So steering angle, transfer case, latitude, longitude, altitude, accessory gauges, um, your front-facing camera, and your pitch and roll. Um, so there's nothing else extra there. If you go into the system, all that stuff. So not really a lot different on the radio other than it's 12.3 inches wide, which um, is obviously the new thing. You can see the cloth bolster on the dash as well. Uh, down here, everything's the same on your controls. Heated seats, volume tune, push button start, eight speed auto. Nothing's new there. The key fob has not changed. Those are still the flipper keys, which I really like. This one has remote start. Your media center still has an AUGS USB and USB-C, so nothing has changed there. And up here you get an auto dimming mirror, home link buttons, assist and SOS. I don't think anything's changed up there. You get these seven little slots up there, so that's kind of neat. And looks like the front hard top pieces still all come off exactly the same. And the only thing with the hard top, I think, is where that quick disconnect is going to be stored. So that's really the biggest thing. Uh, this one also has the Gorilla Glass on it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on all the lights. And then we're going to do a final walk around here with the lights off in the picture studio just so you can see how nice and bright they are. I've been doing this on the Wranglers. I've gotten a pretty good feedback on it. So um, I'm going to pause the camera. We're going to turn all the lights off so you can see just how nice and bright all those lights are. All right, so you can see just how nice and bright all the lights are. They are extremely bright. Everything's LED in the front. Um, even the corner markers here are LEDs. And the big thing is that uh, you can, everything is very well lit up. And I'm hoping, if Jeep is listening, that they make the LED lights standard on the Wrangler. I don't even know why you would make it an option. Uh, they should just be standard um, for safety reasons and just for um, building these things. Make, just make them standard because everybody likes them, everybody wants them, and if they don't have them, they're going to do it aftermarket anyways. So uh, just make them all LEDs is my opinion on the whole deal. Anyways, so really good looking tail lights all look really good as well. And we'll turn all lights on here and finish this video up. I just wanted to personally thank you for checking out the video today and hopefully um, from watching this video you learn a little bit about the new 2024 Jeep Wrangler. Actually, I got one more thing to show you, just remembered it. So while I was looking around and I have to go to our comparison video, but if you look up here and look right there, these pads now say airbags so I'm wondering if those are side curtain airbags well I know they're side curtain airbags but I think those are new for the 2024 as well uh, so a little bit of safety um, upgrade on this Wrangler everything looks to be the same back here as far as how the seats are they go down the same as well and yeah nothing has changed back here uh, there are airbags on those as well so maybe a little bit of a safety increase on the wranglers for 2024 in addition to the new radio the new grill the new windshield the uh, delete of the antenna the new wheel center caps and uh, hopefully they've made the led light standard don't know yet um, but thanks for checking out the video uh, and to see more pictures of this jeep or one of our other 550 new news cars trucks scvs minivans, Wranglers, you name it, we gotta go to that website right there, summitauto.com, full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle, all at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto, click the bell notifications, you'll get updates on the videos I do each and every day, as well as having access to one of the largest catalogs of vehicle and specifically Jeep Wrangler walkarounds on YouTube. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to more Wrangler videos I've done in the upper right, a link to our comparison video once it's done in the lower left, and a link to this vehicle on our website in the lower right. Click those, check us out, and we're super excited to be offering the brand new 2024 Jeep Wrangler Sahara in the brand new color code. Thanks again for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks again.